Some of you got lots of interviews, but didn't match. Let's talk about some of the reasons why that happened. What's up, guys? My name is Dr. Safo Asante. I'm the successful IMG, successful because I matched and I'm here so that you can as well. For those of you that don't know me, I am a family medicine graduate working as a urgent care physician. I release videos on a weekly basis on things that I find interesting, things that I think will help you. It's been a, a long week for me. I've worked eight days straight and today's my first day off. So I've been keeping myself busy, working a lot. Gotta release a video for you guys, something that I think will be helpful. And I thought about it and thought about it and I figured releasing a video on why some of you got interviews that didn't match. Hopefully this video helps you. And for those of you that have not even applied yet, or those of you that did not get any interviews, this video should also give you some tips as to how to approach your, your interviews in general. Let's talk about the match in general. Now, the match, you know, you put in your application, you, you get your interviews, you go for your interviews, and then you rank the programs, the programs rank you, and then you match. Now, there are specific things that the programs want. I already spoke about that in my videos where I spoke about the ideal candidate, and that's pretty straightforward. You can find what these things are in my video. You can find what these things are when you join some of these USMLE forums. When you join some of these forums online, some of these forums on Facebook, people share their thoughts and ideas. And a lot of the ideas and thoughts that people share on there are very helpful. When I was applying, I used some forums online. I didn't know there were forums on Facebook, but I used some forums online and those were helpful because people shared what worked for them and what didn't work for them. So I'm saying all of this because the match is multifaceted. There are a whole bunch of different things that go into you matching. Now, Sometimes it's not the interview that's, that messed you up. It's some other things in your application. That's true. But if you had a lot of interviews and you didn't match, it's more than likely that something that you did wrong during the interview. That's because if you had a lot of interviews, more than likely programs saw something of, uh, on your application that they liked. And that's why they invited you. And a lot of them saw it because it was easy to see on your application. But then you went and... and something happened. Let's talk about some reasons why I believe people don't match. The first reason is they might not be as genuine, right? When I say genuine, I mean you have to come across as yourself. You have to come across as you telling the truth. During the time that I took in interviews, I noticed that people were not able to bring their true self out. I could see things in the application that they weren't able to properly bring out and explain in order to sound genuine and it's very important to sound genuine two you have to show interest in the program some people they come for interviews and they look tired i mean for whatever reason you might have had a long trip that's fine but you want to interview you you are interviewing for a program you have to show that you're interested you have to seem excited if you don't seem excited you don't it doesn't, doesn't look like you are interested in the program. Now, I'm not saying you got to be smiling and cheesing. It, it has to be genuine, right? It has to make, it has to be appropriate. But you just have to not look tired. Or if you need to drink a little bit of energy drink, you drink a little bit of energy drink to get some energy up. But main thing is you, you should not look tired. Another way that you can show that you're interested in the program is to ask questions for some people. During the interview, when it comes to the time where people ask them, do you have any questions for me? They have no questions. That's unacceptable. That's completely unacceptable. You have all this time to sit down and figure out questions to ask. If you don't have any questions for the program, it means that you haven't even thought about them. If you haven't thought about them, you're not interested in the program. And these are little things that people in the program catch. The next one is you have to be likable. And likable ties in all those little things that I mentioned before, being genuine. If you come across as genuine as yourself, as you come across as like you're telling the truth, you're coming across as open. If you come across as interested in the program, the people in the program start to feel that you are likable. The last thing that also ties into being likable is practice. Now here, I think a lot of people are guilty of this. Now. In applying to 
residency, all of us have been through medical school. And to go through medical school, we're all smart. Like, no matter what, you're smart. You're, you're like in the top about 10% to 20% of the smartest people on, on, in the world in regards to medicine, okay? Now, just because you're smart and just because you know how to speak to some people doesn't mean that you're necessarily good at interviews. At interviews, they're trying to see if you match the program and you have only a short period of time. If you had all the time in the world to, to talk to them, tell them about yourself, you will be able to get everything out. When you practice, you practice so that you can get your heavy hitting stuff out when it's within a short period of time that you are given. For example, take acting in movies, for instance. People who act in movies, they want to act real. Now, if you think about it, you would think that, oh, it's very easy to act real. But if somebody just gets up and tries to just act like themselves on camera, it comes across as fake. It takes a lot of practice to seem real to people when you're acting in a movie. And that's the same thing with interviews. You have to practice for a very long time so that the things that you're portraying about yourself come across as genuine. So that the things that you're portraying about yourself come across as true, even though they're true. And you're also practicing a lot so that you remember the important points that you're trying to get across. Now, if you practice one or two times right before the interview, and then you go and ask your question, you might have the answer, but because of the pressure that you're under, you might forget the things, the important things that you need to mention. And you might mention some things. And you might mention some things that could hurt you. And that's also another reason why you want to practice a lot so that you can weed out the little things that you say just randomly, innocently, of course, but you say randomly that can hurt you. So, for instance, we had an applicant, and I'll never forget this. We had an applicant. Everybody liked her, but she said that she didn't like New York, and that's where the program was. And the person she told that to was the program director. <laughs> so when we were going over all the people that interviewed with us and we were talking about them and we were saying, oh, we like this one. We liked her because of this and this and this. The program director said she didn't like New York. Boom, instantly she was done. Practice is very important. Practice is very, very important. You have to make sure that you practice a lot so that all the things that I mentioned before, being genuine, being likable, showing interest come across naturally like all these little things that i said if you just take one it's not good enough you have to add all of these things together so that you can have a good interview so that you come across as a great candidate if you feel like you need extra help if you feel like you need that extra push to become the person that programs want in their program shoot me an email down below my email address is down below my facebook is down below my instagram account is down below you can shoot me messages any any of these ways i have um, some openings in july that are going to fill out quickly for the interview prep so those of you that are interested in, in making yourself better interviews for those of you that are trying to make sure that you become the best candidate that you can be in the eyes of the programs make sure you shoot me a message if you feel like that's too much you feel like you have you got all the little things yourself and you can handle it yourself it's fine look on facebook they have tons of groups on facebook look just google online you have tons of groups online ask people speak to people communicate and get as much information as possible but if you want to get the help without having to ask tons of people for it I'm around for you all right guys that's it um, for those of you that like the video make sure you hit the like button for those of you that don't like the video make sure you hit the like button as well <laughs> and then hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that anytime I release a video you will know all right Dr. Safo Asante out